we had some pretty good East European disc jockeys, uh, and certainly Geza Ekic was one of the most successful. Ich habe, wie ich jetzt weiß, eine Generation, eine damalige ungarische, ziemlich jüngere Generation, erwischt mit der Hilfe der Musik. Mein Vater hat alle Fenster zugemacht, ein Radio aus dem Schrank hat er rausgezogen und dann hat er etwas gehört. Viel habe ich nicht verstanden. In der Zwischenzeit kann ich mal. Oh, Mikrofonal, check it out. It was a colorful music world. It was for the new growing up generation. I went everybody's head about the bird. Es war 56, 4. November, 5 Uhr früh. Und da, da jetzt kriege ich gleich äh, Gänsehaut. The Russians put it down the way they did it. It was a very brutal, bloody affair. I do not ever believe that a revolution was the idea of, of Radio Free Europe or Radio Liberty from the beginning. It was more passing the information on to the people and allowing them to make up their own mind, allowing them to be politically active in their own countries. This area of the building is where the bomb was placed. There were two terrorists walked in with the 15 kilos of the plastic explosive neutral penta, left it there. One other terrorist, probably Johannes Weinrich, the German uh, Red Army Faction terrorist, then detonated the explosion. One woman, Maria Pulda, because of the explosion and the glass, lost about 50% of her face from here down. And in the middle of the first floor is where a KGB agent actually worked. His office was totally destroyed. He then complained to his KGB handlers that he could have been killed. <laughs> Radio Free Europe won the Cold War with hard facts and rock and roll.